I would like to explain why I believe most singers should take up some sort of dance. It trains the ear. And for instance, when you have something like a shimmy technique, that can be very intricate. And musical structures, such as five, six, and I don't know, four, six beats, which you have quite a bit in classic Egyptian and drum solo. If you have a shimmy technique, it actually, I find, it actually helps to listen out for trills and tiny details in the trills. I think belly dance is a marvelous tool for any singer whatsoever. Um, whether you're doing jazz or gospel or classical singing and although it may sound far-fetched if you pay attention all the time to tiny beats or to very complex structures such as five six four six drum beats and violins and melody and you have to make an effort all the time to express those melodies via movement and with your body you have to pay attention and you have to train your ear to bring him to life so it really helps with singing so that's one aspect of belly dance towards classical singing belly dance can also develop assertiveness in singers assertiveness because they develop a nice posture assertiveness because they are more confident as they develop their body and develop their tone that their breathing and the projection is made better also the projection diaphragm is very very massaged all the time because of stomach movements in belly dance so you have muscle work going into the back and going into the legs and all these muscles, any good singer will tell you, all these muscles are being used for projection. So you have a marvellous asset in any type of dance, but especially belly dance, I believe, for classical singers. And of course, as with any type of dance, you also develop grace and character-wise and confidence-wise.